Mr. Kincaid, this is CNN News Now. It's early Sunday morning in Afghanistan where the nation has seen another violent day. At least 21 people have been killed in Taliban attacks across the country. This comes as most NATO forces prepare to end their mission and leave Afghanistan this month. Police in India have arrested a man suspected of running the pro-ISIS Twitter account Shemi Witness. 24-year-old Mehdi Masroor Biswa confessed to operating the account for several years before it was shut down recently. He was charged with waging war against powers friendly to India. In Indonesia, rescuers are sifting through mud and debris in the central district of Java. Days of heavy rain led to a landslide that killed at least 17 people. 91 others are missing. A state news agency says more than 100 homes were buried in a single village. More showers are expected over the next three days. Across the United States, protesters are demanding action on alleged police brutality they say is fueled by racism. In Washington, thousands of people marched from the downtown area to the U.S. Capitol building. Demonstrations are also underway in New York and other cities. That's your CNN News Now. Best of Quest starts right now. You're watching CNN.